The launch command uh, has been issued. The umbilicals have been retracted. We have main engine start. Turbo pumps now up to flight speed. Engines at maximum start and liftoff. Liftoff of the ISS Progress 59 cargo ship on a fast track journey to the International Space Station. Twenty-five seconds into the flight, good roll pitch and yaw program. All engines are reported to be functioning normally. All structural parameters are reported to be in good shape. The chase has begun to reach the International Space Station 52 seconds into the flight. Launch time confirmed at 2.09 and 50 seconds a.m. Central Time, 1.09 and 50 seconds p.m. at Baikonur. Now uh, the vehicle uh, passing through maximum dynamic pressure, 1 minute 15 seconds into the flight. Roll, pitch, and yaw, all structural parameters reported normal from the blockhouse at Baikonur. All control systems are reported operating normally. We will be expecting first stage uh, separation uh, of the four strap-on boosters at about the 1 minute 58 second mark into the flight some 10 seconds from now. First stage separation is confirmed. The uh, Soyuz booster now 30 miles in altitude, 73 miles downrange from the Baikonur Cosmodrome. Everything uh, proceeding normally at the 2 minute 25 second mark into the flight. Standing by for the jettisoning of the launch shroud. Second stage engine functioning normally. All control systems reported uh, operating normally. Three minutes, five seconds into the flight. Good stabilization on the vehicle. All control system uh, parameters are reported uh, in great shape at, uh, as we approach the four minute mark into the flight. The uh, second stage uh, will shut down and separate at the four minute 47 second mark into the Progress's journey to its preliminary orbit. Second stage engine uh, continuing to operate normally. A perfect uh, trajectory so far for the Soyuz booster carrying uh, the Progress resupply ship to its preliminary orbit.
All control system parameters are reported uh, to be operating normally on the Soyuz booster's second stage as we stand by for second stage shutdown and separation. Second stage uh, separation confirmed. The uh, Soyuz booster now uh, 104 miles in altitude, 179 miles downrange from the Baikonur Cosmodrome. At the time of launch, uh, the uh, International Space Station uh, was flying uh, 257 statute miles over northeastern Kazakhstan near the Russian border. having passed uh, directly over the launch site some two and a half minutes before liftoff. Five minutes, 40 seconds into the flight, everything proceeding normally. The third stage engine performing normally. Control system uh, parameters are normal. You're looking at a live view uh, of the Russian flight control room at the Russian Mission Control Center in Koryov outside Moscow. They actually will take over uh, control of the uh, flight of the progress to the International Space Station at the time of spacecraft separation. Two and a half minutes of powered flight remaining. Everything proceeding normally for the Progress 59. All control system uh, parameters are reported uh, nominal by the uh, launch engineering team at the Baikonur Cosmodrome in Kazakhstan. Seven minutes into the flight. The uh, third stage of the uh, Soyuz booster uh, providing a good roll, pitch, and yaw control as uh, the Progress uh, 59 is now just about a minute and 15 seconds away from separation and uh, the entrance into its preliminary orbit, uh, the chase to reach the International Space Station underway. At the time of uh, orbital insertion, the International Space Station will be 2,300 miles ahead of the Progress 59. A series of uh, pre-programmed engine firings will increase the Progress's altitude and begin uh, the closure on the International Space Station for its uh, automated docking to the Piers Docking Compartment at 8.07 a.m. Central Time this morning. Approaching the eight and a half minute mark into the flight. All of uh, the uh, Progress's systems, all of the third stage systems on the Soyuz booster functioning normally as we stand by for third stage shutdown and spacecraft separation. And we have third stage shutdown and spacecraft separation. Russian flight controllers at the uh, 
Russian Mission Control Center in Korolyov standing by for telemetry to confirm solar array deploy and uh, navigational antenna deployment. This is Mission Control Houston. Uh, launch uh, occurred on time at uh, 2.09 and 50 seconds a.m. Central Time. We are still standing by for telemetry acquisition uh, from the Progress 59 to confirm uh, solar ray and appendage deploy. This is Mission Control Houston. Telemetry is now uh, being received at the Russian Mission Control Center in Korolyov, indicating uh, spacecraft separation occurred on time, solar array deployment occurred. We are still standing by for uh, further telemetry uh, to confirm the uh, deployment of the Corps' automated rendezvous antennas.